Hi, Diane Phelan here with Leda Cree International, Product Manager for the Stone Tech Surface Care line. I'm here today to talk to you about some tips and tricks on how to properly clean your shower. I'll take you through some routine maintenance on natural stone, tile, and grout, the appropriate cleaners to use, um, some tools that you use for cleaning, and some tips on keeping a cleaner, longer lasting shower. So first off, what is appropriate cleaners to use? So if you're dealing with natural stone, we've got a Hone Career Marble right here. Um, you may have travertine granite, but if you're dealing with a natural stone, you wanna make sure you're cleaning with a neutral pH balance cleaner. So the, most of the cleaners currently on the market that are made for bathroom cleaning or shower cleaning, maybe on the acidic side or on the alkaline side, all of which will degrade your sealer that you've got on your natural stone to protect it from staining. Um, it can cause pitting, um, it can really hurt your stone. So especially if it's acidic, it can even etch your stone, which then gets into costly um, measures to um, clean and, and restore your stone. So you wanna make sure you're using a pH balance cleaner. Stone Tech Stone and Tile Cleaner is great for that. It's designed specifically for cleaning natural stone. Um, so I don't have anything to worry about, you don't either. Um, so. Uh, I then take um, a non-scratch pad. So you want something that's not abrasive. That's not really going to hurt your stone. You don't want it to scratch, especially I've got some tile, um, glass tile here. You don't want to scratch that. Um, so I will take this across the tile and clean that. I will then take a little toothbrush. What a thought. Easy. Run that through your grout lines. I've got very small grout lines that I'm dealing with right now. I want to get that gunk out of there. Um, so I just take this, run it through um, the grout line. You can buy a grout tool, but this works just fine. And that's perfect. Then run some water, rinse it through. And there you go, you got a clean shower. I like to um, typically recommend keeping a bottle uh, in your shower, under your bench or whatever you have. Um, run it through after you shower, spray it down, rinse it down, just to keep it cleaner, long, last. So you're not dealing with always constantly cleaning at one time. Um, so uh, some of the other issues that uh, we see tend to be mold and mildew growth, right? So perfect area to grow mold and mildew. You've got water, so moisture buildup. You've got um, heat. So those two combinations will help to generate that mold and mildew. I tend to see it in things like this bench here all around. Um, in fact, there's a little bit of mold growth there. It's kind of hard to see there. But what I like to use is I like to use a, a product called Stone Tech Mold and Mildew Stain Remover. This is designed to kill basically that mold and mildew. So spray it along. It's basically a foaming sprayer. It's great. Um, to really cling on to the grout lines and the tile um, to remove that mold growth. Um, I will take a toothbrush again. I recommend using that. Run it through the grout lines. Um, it's great uh, at removing mold and mildew. And quite honestly, what I've, I've seen, it's great at um, preventing it from coming back. So um, using that will definitely help you with removing your mold and mildew. I then will then rinse it. That's what you should be doing to remove your mold and mildew. And then soap scum, another bad area of, of pain for most people, um, if, especially if you have hard water um, and you're using soap in the shower. It's this gunky buildup that you will see uh, on, on showers. You will see on the tile, especially glass tile. It's kind of hard to see here. I'd show you, but it's really hard to see. But it's really hard to clean it off. Um, so taking our a product, Stone Tech Soap Scum Remover, it's designed to remove that stubborn soap scum. And basically just, it won't harm your stone. You spray it on. And you see that it cleaned right onto the surface here. It's great it's foaming sprayer. So um, it's got a clean, fresh scent, and it's not going to degrade your stone. So again, I like to take a non-scratch pad, run it through. Um, if you see grout lines that have some gunk in there, uh, especially I like using it for the tile, glass tile. I will run it through there. I see soaps come on that glass tile. You can really see it on there when it shines. Um, and it, run it through with water. So how to prevent some of this from 
and, and make your shower last longer is just, again, use your stone and tile cleaner after you shower. Rinse it down. If you don't have that, after you shower, rinse it down. A big tool that I like to use in my shower, squeegee. Uh, we recommend a squeegee. Take that water, just use that squeegee. Remove whatever, as much water as you can from your shower to prevent the buildup, prevent the mold. And I personally, I have a little suction cup here um, where it has a little hook with the squeegee and I like to just keep it in my shower at all times. Um, a microfiber cloth, keep it in your shower. Wipe down that water. Again, anything to prevent water standing, clean your bench, quick rinse through, wipe through your shower, prevent that water from standing in your shower and creating buildup um, and creating um, mold and mildew growth um, and wiping down any soaps comfort that you may have. So again, those are some tips and tricks. Um, thank you for watching and Good luck with keeping your shower clean. Thank you.